so that Joe Rogan shit, the Joe Rogan Spotify thing, in my personal opinion, okay, so if anyone hasn't noticed, there's others, uh, there's rumors, rumors about Joe Rogan and his Spotify deal and a lot of the Spotify employees saying that if they don't get to censor or review certain things that Joe Rogan does or certain conversations and people that he has on the podcast, that an X amount of them will quit and walk out the building. And there was this huge uh, stir for the past couple of weeks about Joe Rogan and Spotify and in certain episodes not being there and him being censored and Joe Rogan selling out. And people are surprised because there's all these stories of so much YouTubers, so many creators speaking on it. Joe Rogan has not spoken on it. And my theory is that this is just their promotional run. They're using outrage culture to promote the fact that Joe Rogan is on Spotify. They heard the whole Joe Budden shit going on with Spotify, all sorts of uh, back and forth uh, people having their opinions on Twitter and, and a lot of uh, chirping, a lot of just a lot of discussion around the whole Joe Budden, Spotify working, Spotify being cheap, Spotify doing X, Y, and Z, Spotify being slimy, Joe Budden not doing proper business. All these talks that you hear from the situation they just said, they, they, I feel like Spotify doubled down. They're like, you know what? We're going to use this because this is promotion. This is keeping our name in headlines. This is keeping us trending. Let's do this instead of doing all these expensive billboards and stuff. Let's just promote it this way with this outrage talk. And then Joe Rogan is going to continue doing his show. People are going to continue looking for certain things in his episodes. He's not even speaking on it because it doesn't concern him. I do not believe any of the chatter. I don't believe any of the Spotify employees want to censor it. No one wants to censor music. It's a, it's a streaming platform. No one wants to censor anything on that, but all of a sudden Joe Rogan comes there and all of a sudden all these employees, 25% of them want to walk out if they don't get to censor it or review it. And a lot of it being behind political reasons. I don't believe that. I believe that this whole thing is a promo run. And I feel like it's smart because outrage culture doesn't really stop anything. It makes headlines for a little bit. People get all wild and be like, oh, fuck this. I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to cancel this. No one cancels anything. And they continue making business. We've seen it happen with Gucci, that outrage. Gucci's still doing numbers. We've seen it happen with H and M. H and M in the in the in the monkey uh, sweater, or whatever, still doing numbers. People still shopping there. We've seen it happen with Starbucks. We've seen it happen with all these corporations doing these type of things and just benefiting off of the promotion and their name constantly being in the media sphere and getting coverage off of the outrage. And the outrage does not set them back. So it's like, why not? It's a good idea. It's a good marketing ploy. I don't. I don't see why the point. I don't. I don't see why they wouldn't. You know what I mean?